Having that relationship with my customers has is, is been a great insight into what the consumer actually thinks. But it's really important for me that people dig into how their food is produced and not to just brand everything as, as, as one kind of thing. My name's Hugh Fawkes. I live in Pentrevelin Farm in North Wales, uh, just outside of a town called Denby. Pentrevelin is where I grew up. It's where my family farmed before me, my grandfather and my father up until 2005. And since then, the place has been rented out and over the past five or six years I've started taking the land back and as my herd of cows has increased I've started taking more and more land back and this is the first year I've taken the whole place back. Since my father stopped milking in 2005 it's been my dream really to get the place back as a dairy farm but I didn't want to do it in the conventional way because I didn't want to just focus on production and I didn't want to get myself into a load of debt setting up a, a big dairy farm. So I just started with what I could afford and at the time it was just four cows. I wanted to get the most for the product so I started selling locally to a couple of local coffee shops and a little honesty box as well at the farm gate where local people can come, help themselves to milk and have, a, have as less food mileage as, as I could really. So when I started farming here, I wanted to do it in a way that didn't necessarily just focus on production and producing lots of milk, lots of beef and taking a lot away from the land. I wanted to farm in a way that had a positive effect on the environment. I wanted to create a habitat on the farm where wildlife could come back and most importantly I wanted to farm in a way that would improve the health of the soil because something we've noticed after years of quite intense cropping when the place was rented out the the structure of the soil has gone downhill and yeah the key for me now is improving the health of the soil and working with nature rather than against it. Because we're a cow and calf dairy it's been a bit of a steep learning curve learning how to juggle making sure the calf has enough milk and enough milk for us to sell as well. So when I first started we were, you know, we were selling maybe five, ten bottles a day just because it was a job working out a system that worked for the cows as well. But now we're selling close to about 60 bottles a day. Because the red pole are a dual purpose animal it means we get best of both worlds from them. So we get a good amount of milk to sell but also we have uh, quite a chunky beef calf as well that the cow rears and the plan is to be able to sell beef as well from the farm gate um, have a couple of restaurants nearby that are quite keen to try the beef as well and it just means we're not relying on the single um, income from the milk but we're selling beef and milk as well. It's really important for me to have quite a good relationship with my customers we have the honesty box every Saturday morning at the farm gate and I like meeting people and talking to them because it gives me a chance to explain what we're doing here, what, what's different about what we're doing and why there's a price difference compared to what people are used to buying. And it's nice to explain to people that, you know, in order for people to have cheap food, somewhere along that production line, something has to suffer. I came across Hugh via social media. With it being a cow-calf dairy, that's something that is really close to my heart. Just knowing that those cows have been fed on delicious pastures, that they have rests when they need them, their calves stay with them, so those calves are going to be reared to being really happy cows as well. So just knowing that and knowing I'm drinking this delicious milk that is not only good for the environment, but good for me and good for the soul. 
What we're actually doing is going back to basics and farming like they were doing 100, 200 years ago. So all we're doing is grazing the cows on as much diversity as we can, but we're using modern tools like an electric fence and no fence collars to manage them cows so that they, they graze in a way that improves the health of the soil. So practices such as mob grazing and you know, rotational mob grazing has been the key really to, to starting to improve the health of the soil again. Building the soil health is something I really want to focus on going forward to keep building that organic matter in the soil. And I think that's not only going to help us as a business be less dependent on buying in inputs, but it'll also solve a lot of the problems that we face, not just as farmers, but as, as general in the country at the minute. Healthy soils can lead to better water quality in our rivers, it can lead to healthier food, healthier people. So working on the soil, I think, is, is definitely key for what we're trying to do here.